Hi there, Ahmed. I'm Dan. Welcome to Unsolicited, part three. We are doing a three-part a episode. Dick's marathon. A, a marathon of marathon of Dorothy uh, Dix. You know, who Dan what I love about I gotta say man. right off the bat, what I love about about Dorothy Dix is when she gives her advice. We've only read a couple here so far, but it's it's like she just gets madder and madder <laughs> and madder as she goes. It's like I can see her typing away at the typewriter with a glass of scotch <laughs> and a dangling cigarette. Like, it's oh, just, this, it's, it's as if her goal. <laughs> it's also as if her goal is to crush the soul of the question. <laughs> like. Is there a, how can I write in a way that will totally crush the person? If the person actually reads my advice, and they probably did, I want to crush, I want to crush their soul. Crush their soul. And any other person that's reading it, <laughs> you know. All right, Miss right, Dorothy Dix. Let's Dixon. roll that so, uh, show intro and get into so this. Is, this is part three. So we did part one and part two. I expected to do one Dorothy Dix ant question from January 7th, 1934. I always the first one to do one Dix. The first one was, all right, enough of the dicks jokes. The first one was good enough we wanted to do a second one. The second one is good enough we wanted to do a third one, and now we're out of them. I only got this one day, and I don't know how many more archives I can get, so who knows? We had a bag of dicks, and now it's empty. Jesus. All right, dear Miss Dix, I am a boy of 18 and have been going with a girl of the same age for about a year. I thought I loved this girl, but I have changed my mind since I met another girl. The other night, I suggested that we both go with someone else for a while and told her I didn't love her anymore. Immediately, she got her father's gun and was about to shoot herself when I stopped her. I promised I would try to learn to love her again, but it's no use. I can't. Don't tell me to try to reason with her because it is impossible. Puzzled lad. Was there a question? There's no question. There's no question. He just wanted to let someone know that his just, life sucks. Dorothy Dix, just letting you know, I fell out of love with a girl who's <laughs> going to shoot herself. Shoot herself and literally tells him not to. I don't to, think there's anything her, that can happen. I just wanted to let you know. Don't tell me to try to reason with her because it's impossible. So what do you want her to do? Okay, so this question's a one. Because <laughs> it's like he doesn't want to solve anything. He doesn't need anything solved. Literally no question mark in this. He might even the, be working on how to get rid of her himself. The answer is four paragraphs long, so, you know, <laughs> good on you, Dorothy. Oh, my God, she must have popped a, popped a I, blood vessel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's like three heart attacks. God damn, you ask me a question. Five typewriters. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. All right, I'm going to do a Dorothy Dix voice. I think I know what she sounds like. Every boy in his teens. They... <laughs> Continue, that's good. That's good. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> answer, answer. Okay, okay, answer. I trust this unpleasant experience. <laughs> I'm going to be... Tom Waits. I trust this unpleasant experience will teach you a lesson that will do much to safeguard your future happiness and well-being. And, and that is not to get yourself entangled in any more love affairs unless you're grown and you have and your taste in women is formed. Every boy in his teens thinks he's in love with every pretty girl with whom he's thrown into contact. This is natural and normal and a good thing because before a man picks out a wife with whom to spend the balance of his days he should have known many women who appealed to him. And in many ways, he should have thought himself in love and then found out why, found out he wasn't often enough to learn to distrust his emotions. Then he won't be so likely to mistake a passing fancy for an eternal passion and get married to a woman of whom he will tire before the honeymoon sets. My surmise is that, is that this I'm girl's surprised. threat of... My surmise, okay, I can't keep doing this. My <laughs> surmise is that this girl's threat of suicide was just a gesture intended to intimidate you and keep you from leaving her. It is the stock trick of thousands of women who hold unwilling men to them by the threat of killing themselves. However, as you don't want to be involved in any scenes, to say nothing of a scandal, 
the best thing for you to do is to, okay this is just kind of weird the best thing for you is just to ease yourself he's gently a taller, out of a killer, isn't he? he's kind of it's just to ease yourself out of the situation gently break the news to her gradually that you are tired of her don't go to see her often and go around with other girls as long as you're not married to her she has no possible right to supervise you stepping out it is hopeless to try to revive a dead love. When you've lost your taste for a girl, you've lost it. And that's all there is to it. I'm, oh my god. I think Whoa. I might be in love with Dorothy Dix. <laughs> Sorry. I think so her her advice was you didn't sleep with enough girls yet. To to fall to in love fall with a girl in love properly. The advice is, the, 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 I love the tone. <laughs> oh my god. The advice is atrocious. Oh. I mean, and there's the worst, like, the, this is, you don't let her trick you by threatening suicide. This just, <laughs> it happens every day. These are girls, you know, these girls. That's the, this is the one where I think maybe it is a man. Like, it, she does sound like a man in this one. Right? Like yeah. a man of that era as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, I'm going to give this a three. <laughs> for the advice Plus, I mean it's not a question so I guess <laughs> nice of her question. to answer He's responding to a non yeah. it's a non question uh, again, it's very attacky it's very attacky make it, make it well, anyone well written <laughs> like they made the wrong choice yeah I'm gonna agree with you it's almost scary like, it's terrifying it's terrifying like, oh my jeez this is an advice column from 1934 yeah, hardcore. I know, it's intense, man. That's, uh, <laughs> it's now intense. I'm like stuck trying to think of some worse advice other than like what the guy already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dorothy, I, I'm okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, worst advice. Uh, well, the the worst advice is uh, she already did it. She basically <laughs> said, "Stay with her, cheat on her, and don't worry, she's just threatening." <laughs> like this. <laughs> as bad as it gets. Worst uh, <laughs> advice. How do you top that? <laughs> uh, oh all right, God. all right. I, I, this is teetering, teetering on breaking the rules, but I'm going for it. Cut your own dick off. <laughs> Cut your own dick off. It's not illegal in 1934, I don't believe, to cut your own dick off. Mail it to the girl. And tell her that uh, you'll you'll never you'll never love again. But um, you now are joining the circus. Like the old day dick pic. Cut, cut your dick off. Mail the dick. Cut your dick off. Mail it to her. Join the circus. I, I, I think that's kind of teetering on, on some of our rules there. You know what, Dan? Screw you. <laughs> Screw you. We break. Go ahead. Break the rules. You can, this this episode alone, you may break the rules if you wish. I don't think, I'm not hurting anybody else. I'm simply cutting off my own dick and mailing it to a girl and joining the circus. I don't, I don't think that's breaking the rules. I think it's on the edge, but it's not breaking them. Yeah. It's bending. Oh but you feel free to break the rules. Go ahead, do whatever you want. I'm still, I'm so thrown by this uh, Dorsey Dix. It's making me very... Uh uncomfortable trying to come up with the worst advice. <laughs> I almost feel like I need to come up with some good advice for this person. I know. I know. <laughs> like, well, all right, I know she was a little uh, abrasive there, but... It's uh, ni 1934, and they were 18 at the time. They are most likely dead. Uh, yeah. So, uh, worst advice <laughs> is just, you know what, just just keep on dating all the, all the girls, and, and, and you know, Make, make them all long-term wives. Just collect a whole bunch of wives. You don't have to worry about it. Kind of, kind of the advice she gives. Uh, I guess you're saying marry them? All right. I'll accept it. It's That is bad advice, but it's not as bad. Because that's probably even, that was probably even legal in some yeah. states. <laughs> right. Probably a, a reasonable thing to do. We don't know where Dorothy Dix grew up. All right. Thank you for joining us. I win this episode, by the way. And I think this is a... For, this is a pretty low-rated Dorothy Dix episode. Yeah. Dorothy Dix has been fun. Three episodes yeah. of Dorothy Dix. Thank I, you for joining us. You know, us. I could go with uh, just maybe just reading some Dorothy Dix uh, without even having to throw in some bad advice. At the I know, end. she's great. Right? I, we got, I got to, maybe we'll dig in. Like 1930s, jeez. 
Tell us what you Hello? think. If you have any more Dorothy Dix, it's so, so don't send us questions because we don't answer questions. Oh. But if you have comments or if we did something wrong or if we did something right or if you have more Dorothy Dix columns that you want to send to us. I, I'm starting to think of like how Dorothy Dix would respond to like a Dear Abby or a Dan, or a Dan Savage. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we have to. I think I also think that my Dorothy Dix voice, even though it hurts my throat, oh, was yeah. outstanding. <laughs> I think take some vocal uh, coaching classes. <laughs> Come back. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see it. We'll see you next time in a day or two or three or yeah. whatever. We'll see you when we see you. Oh, so